Hello everyone, Mary Daphne here, and welcome back to my channel where we explore practical tips to boost your confidence and communication skills for navigating social situations and workplace interactions with ease. Today, we're diving into a topic that can make or break a team, communication. More specifically, how to create an open and transparent communication culture that nips conflicts in the bud. If you're ready, let's get into it. Why this matters. We've all been there. A small misunderstanding snowballs into a major conflict affecting productivity, morale, and even friendships. But what if we could prevent that? Open communication is the key. When we feel safe to speak up, share ideas, and address concerns early on, we create a more positive and productive work environment. Why open communication and early conflict resolution matter. Before we dive into the strategies for building a culture of open communication, let's talk about why it's so important. In today's fast-paced, collaborative world, effective communication is the cornerstone of successful teams. It allows for better collaboration, problem solving, and decision making. Here are some statistics that highlight the impact of poor communication. 50% of employees say that they have experienced a workplace conflict in the past year. 40% of employees say that poor communication is a major cause of stress at work. 37% of employees say that they have lost productivity due to workplace conflict. But the negative impacts go beyond just numbers. Poor communication can lead to misunderstandings and resentment, decreased morale and engagement, lost productivity and innovation, increased turnover. So here's a personal story that illustrates the importance of open communication. I once worked on a team where there was a lot of unspoken tension between two team members. Now, this tension eventually led to a major conflict that erupted during a meeting. The conflict was so disruptive that it derailed the entire meeting and left everyone feeling frustrated and unproductive. This experience taught me firsthand how important it is to address conflicts early on and to create a culture where people feel comfortable communicating openly and honestly. Now let's address some common challenges that you might face when trying to build a culture of open communication. Fear of reprisal. Some team members may be afraid to speak up because they fear being punished or judged. Lack of trust. If there is a history of poor communication, it can be difficult to build trust and encourage open dialogue. Cultural barriers. Different cultures have different communication styles. It's important to be aware of these differences and to create a culture that is inclusive and respectful of all. All right, now on to the strategies. So let's break down some actionable strategies followed by examples of each strategy in action to help you better understand it. Number one, lead by example. Managers, this one's for you. Be the change that you wanna see. Actively seek feedback, be open to different viewpoints, and address concerns head on. Your team will follow suit. Managers and team leaders need to be the role models for open communication. They should actively seek feedback, be receptive to different viewpoints and perspectives, and address concerns promptly. For example, a manager sends out a survey asking for anonymous feedback on a recent project and then openly shares the results and discusses them with the team. During a team meeting, a manager disagrees with an idea but acknowledges its merits and explores it further with the team instead of dismissing it outright. A team member expresses concern about a potential issue. The manager listens attentively, acknowledges the concern, and works with the team member to find a solution. Number two, clear communication channels. Make it easy for your team to communicate. Regular meetings, one-on-ones, even a simple suggestion box can make a big difference. 
The key is making sure everyone feels heard. Make sure there are multiple ways for team members to communicate, such as those regular meetings, those one-on-one -on -one meetings, and suggestion boxes, if that's your thing. Let's take a look at some examples. So a team has a weekly stand-up meeting where everyone shares updates, asks questions, and raises concerns. A manager schedules regular one-on-one -on -one meetings with each team member to discuss their progress, challenges, and career goals. A physical or virtual suggestion box is available for team members to anonymously submit ideas, feedback, or concerns. Number three, encourage proactive communication. Create an environment where people feel comfortable raising issues early, no matter how small. This prevents those little misunderstandings from turning into major blowouts. Here are some examples. A team member notices a potential flaw in a project plan and immediately brings it up to the project lead, preventing a costly mistake down the line. During a brainstorming session, a team member shares a half-baked idea, sparking a discussion that leads to a creative solution. A manager notices two team members having a disagreement and encourages them to talk it out directly rather than letting it fester. Number four, conflict resolution training. We can't always avoid conflict, but we can learn to handle it better. So offer workshops or training to equip your team with the skills to navigate disagreements constructively. Train your team on how to handle disagreements constructively and address conflicts in a healthy and productive manner. Here are some examples. A company offers a workshop on active listening and effective communication techniques. A team participates in a role-playing exercise where they practice handling different types of conflicts. A manager provides coaching to a team member who's struggling to manage a conflict with a colleague. Number five, spot the warning signs. Pay attention to changes in team dynamics such as shifts in mood, productivity, or communication patterns. Are people less engaged? Is there tension in the air? Address these signs early on through open dialogue and active listening. Here are some examples. A manager notices that a usually outgoing team member has become quiet and withdrawn during meetings. They check in with the team member to see if anything is wrong. A project deadline is approaching and the team seems stressed and tense. The manager calls a meeting to discuss concerns and adjust the workload if necessary. A manager observes that communication between two team members has become curt and passive aggressive. They address the issue directly with both individuals and facilitate a conversation to resolve the underlying tension. Number six, promote psychological safety. This is huge. People need to feel safe expressing their thoughts and opinions without fear of judgment. So foster a culture of respect and understanding. Create a safe space where team members feel comfortable expressing their thoughts and opinions without fear of judgment or negative consequences. Here are some examples of psychological safety. Managers can foster psychological safety within their teams by creating a team charter, outlining shared values, including respect for diverse opinions and a commitment to open communication, celebrating failures as learning opportunities rather than punishing mistakes, acknowledging and appreciating team members' contributions, fostering a sense of belonging and value, promoting a culture of respect and understanding where team members feel comfortable expressing their thoughts and opinions without fear of judgment or negative ramifications. So these examples illustrate how each strategy can be applied in real world scenarios to foster a culture of open communication and early conflict resolution. By implementing these strategies, you can create a culture of open communication, early conflict resolution, and ultimately a more harmonious and productive work environment. Creating this culture of openness starts with you. If you want to improve your own communication skills, boost your confidence, and become a more effective communicator, well then I highly recommend checking out Explearning Academy. We offer a professional development platform with a focus on social and communication skills. Through targeted practice in our small group coaching program and live feedback sessions, you can hone your communication abilities 
and see a real impact on your work outcomes and overall life. Exploring Academy can help you develop the skills needed to communicate clearly and confidently in any social situation, be it at work or in life, navigate difficult conversations with ease, build stronger relationships with your colleagues, increase your influence and impact, and so much more. So you can visit our website at academy.explearning.co to learn more about our program and our various plans on offer and how we can help you to take your communication skills to the next level. I'll see you there. So my friends, there you have it. Your toolkit for building a drama-free workplace through open communication. Remember, investing in your communication skills is an investment in your career and in your team's success. And don't forget to explore Exploring Academy as a resource to help you achieve your communication goals. Thanks so much for joining me today, for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, share the channel, and hit that notification bell for more tips and strategies on communication, confidence, and building successful careers. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now and happy exploring.